Here I have the smallest Mac ever. This is the 2024 Mac mini with M4 chip. And you can see it comes in this ultra small compact box. The computer is about five by five inches and by two inches in height. Here I have the base model with 16 gigs of memory and 256 gigs of solid state. Let's go ahead, unbox it, tear it down and take a look at what's inside. Now the RAM is configurable up to 32 gigs as well as 64 gigs on the M4 Pro. And the solid state is configurable up to two terabytes and eight terabytes on the M4 Pro. So again, here is a look at the ultra small Mac mini. On the front of the device, we have two USB-C ports, the power indicator and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And on the back, we have the power port, ethernet, HDMI, as well as three Thunderbolt 4 ports. However, on the M4 Pro, these are Thunderbolt 5. And on the back of the device, we have its power button as well as fan. The Mac mini inputs air from the front half of the grill and exhausts air through the rear half. So without further ado, let's see if we can get inside of this Mac mini. So it looks like the silicone ring does not hold any screws behind it. That's what we saw with the previous Mac Studio. So our second thought is to use a pry bar and peel up on the back housing. So instead of using a pry bar, a much safer way to do this is to insert something into the grill here, a small screwdriver, and peel up. And just like that, the back left right corner of the Mac Mini is loose. And be careful, don't remove this yet because we will have to disconnect that power cable. So here is a look at the rear grill assembly. Power button is up there at the top. And that is the cover. Here's a look at that beautiful M4 Mac Mini and it's ultra small size. We have a several Torx screws, a heat sink up here, a, fair, a fan that intakes cold air through the front here. We also have, it looks like a button battery here. Let's go ahead and remove these Torx screws and see if we can remove this back cover. So on the perimeter of the Mac Mini, we have a bunch of T5 Torx screws as well as in the center we have four. The heat sink are T3 screws. And now let's see if we can peel off this back cover. And just like that, the back cover is removed. Be careful because there are some cables attached. So flipping this over, it looks like the Mac utilizes the metal grill as a antenna. And we'll just set aside the antenna here and work on the inside of the Mac. We have a small T5 screw at the bottom here and another one located here. And the last one located over here with another two T5 screws at the bottom of the fan. Now we can freely remove the fan from the Mac and make sure you disconnect the cable. And Apple really doesn't want you getting inside of here because behind this black tape, you have to flip the connector up and that will allow the connector to come out. Otherwise you'll end up ripping the fan off of the logic board. And here we have removed the fan. And here we have a T3 Torx holding the speaker. And here's the speaker. Be careful because we do, do need to disconnect a wire back here. And now we can finally access and disconnect that cable that connects the CMOS battery, as well as the antennas on the rear. 
and that's locked into place with some more T3 Torx screws. It looks like we have some large standoff screws that are T9 Torx. And we finally freed the antenna. And taking another look at the Mac Mini, this looks like the solid state here. Let's go ahead and take that out. And that is using a T9 Torx. And there you go, that's a look at the chip there. And while I'm here, I'm gonna remove the rest of those large T9 screws, ones located at the bottom here. Another two on top, those silver screws. And the next thing we'll go for is the heat sink, removing two more T5 screws here. It looks like the logic board is still not budging, so we will remove the front USB-C connectors as well as the audio jack and these two screws on the left. So I've gone ahead and released uh, several T3 Torx screws on the front of the Mac here. And we're gonna remove the connectors for those front IO ports. So here is the power indicator as well as 3.5 millimeter jack. These are the front two USB-C ports. And it looks like our logic board is finally free. And with a little bit of help pushing the components down to the front, we can release some pressure and remove the logic board. And it looks like this logic board is split to with the power supply over here. Let's go ahead and remove that connector. And the power supply disconnects on the other side of the logic board. I'm gonna go ahead, set this aside real quick. And again, this is a look at the power supply. This is very interesting because the power supply is almost as big as the computer itself. If they use the external power supply, we could probably fit or make the Mac Mini a lot smaller. And here is a look at the logic board for the Mac Mini. This is pretty much where all the components go. The SSD was located right here. And it looks like Apple has covered up all their chips with some covers. Let's see if we can't remove those. So the covers do pop off with just a little bit of force. Okay, so the top right corner comes off with a little bit of force. And then these two chip covers are just held in by adhesive. And the back of the logic board has a aluminum plate on it. It is held in by adhesive. And to remove the heat sink, we have a few screws located here. These are T5 Torx. And finally, we can remove the heat sink, which reveals the all new M4 chip. And here is a quick look at that heat sink. And here is what you've been waiting for, that beautiful M4 chip from Apple. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna wrap it up for a teardown on the 2024 M4 Mac Mini. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. This computer was terrible to tear down. It had several Torx screws ranging from T3 all the way up to T9. It reminds me a lot of like tearing down an iPhone with several screws, several little components, and it was just a mess. Again, thanks so much for watching please hit that like button. Check out my channel for more tech videos and I'll see you in the next one.